Improving human health by unlocking the mysteries of diseases is a goal that many scientists share, and it will be enabled by mapping the proteins in the human proteome. Advancements in proteomics analysis are offering people new hope for the development of more effective drugs and the promise of protein biomarkers for a more personalized approach to medicine. At the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, known as ETH Zurich, in collaboration with the Institute for Systems Biology, scientists have achieved one of the most significant advancements in the proteomics field to date generating mass spectrometry assays for each of the proteins that correspond to the 20,300 genes in the human genome. With the MRM Atlas project, we try to basically provide a resource to the scientific community so that we develop these assays once and for, for all, and then people can download these assays. The ultimate goal is to apply proteomics to biological and clinical research to try to understand how biological processes function and are controlled by measuring the proteome. Importantly, the MRM Atlas expands into never before seen areas of the proteome. Scientists will now be able to analyze dramatically more proteins in the human body with greater specificity, speed, and reproducibility than ever previously possible. The completion of the MRM Atlas marks an important turning point in the field that is expected to affect biomedical research for years to come. We have been now for a few years working very hard on um, developing and introducing targeted mass spectrometry. It's gaining, I think, a lot of uh, attention and traction. It's getting fairly widely used. The technique that supports it is referred to as selected reaction monitoring also frequently referred to as multiple reaction monitoring. In contrast to um, immu immunoassays, we don't need to inject any animals, but we need to generate spectra in, in a mass spectrometer, such as the Q-trap mass spectrometer. The Q-trap technology is an essential part for us to support targeted mass spectrometry by SRM. And the Q-trap instrument is the only instrument that can generate full fragment ion spectra in a, in a very high throughput mode and high sensitivity, and as well as then use these spectra or the transitions derived from it to do SRM measurements. So in that sense, it's an, it's an ideal instrument for, for us because we spend a lot of time developing large-scale assays and then to use them for the measurement. We can do this all on the same, on the same platform. AB Sykes has consistently produced high quality, innovative uh, instrumentation, also chemical reagents uh, to, that, that are useful in the context of, um, of proteomics, which is expanding and will be driven uh, by new questions that can be asked. And AB Sykes will be there to deliver the answers.